Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm down here at um, Columbus Circle, Central Park Columbus Circle at night. So um, I'm going to walk toward lower Manhattan. Just do some night walking, man. Um, I always like to uh, walk and clear my, uh, clear my head when I start to get too stressed out over, um, over anything. Right now, I've been stressed out over my dissertation and, um, you know, uh, my dissertation chair said it wasn't long enough. Um, I had 70 pages, so I added 10 more pages, now it's 80 pages. She didn't say anything about the content. She just said uh, it wasn't long enough. So, um, you know, that, that had me stressed out. So, uh, you know, this is what I do when I, when I start to feel, um, you know, uh, you know, life just seems like it's bogging down on me, man. I just go for a walk and get out in the air and walk around and uh, walk it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let it out and don't um, carry that um, stress and stuff with me. So um, that's it. Just walking around. Um, just checking out a, a lot of the sites here in New York City. There's so many places that you can go to and, and see here that uh, it's always some place to to go and walk to and check out so that's always cool and that's the great thing about living in this city that i can do that so let's go in central park at night they still have the um horse and buggy going but that's down on the other end around by sixth avenue where you can get the horse and buggy you know. Right now we down like around uh, Central Park West. And this is uh, 8th, 8th Avenue going into 9th Avenue. If I keep going further east, I hit the Lincoln Center. A lot of concerts over here, over there. Here's a uh, Trump International Hotel. Trump International Hotel right there. There's the World Globe. That's another famous um, landmark here in the city. You know, the Globe. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and walk up Broadway walk through Times Square, Madison Avenue, you know. Yeah, I love living here, man. Ain't nothing like it. is the Columbus statue, Christopher Columbus statue. Yeah. Another shopping center, the Deutsche Bank shopping center. This is the Christopher Columbus statue here. That's 8th Avenue down there.
here. I went and bought the um, Osmos SE uh, mobile smartphone gimbal, uh, but I have to um, learn how to use it. You know, I haven't really used the mobile phone for anything, but I see to do a live video, to do a walk-in live stream, I need something like that. Um, Cause like I said, I still haven't, <coughs> excuse me. I still haven't learned how to do the live stream with this camera. So that's something that I will have to uh, learn how to do, you know, if I want to do live streams uh, while I'm walking. I'll be coming up on Broadway here in Columbus Circle. So that is it. That's Columbus Circle here. You have Shopping Center, Trump International. Then you got Central Park. All oh, that's over here, Columbus Circle and 59th Street. And this here is Broadway. We take this straight down, we're gonna run into Times Square. And another great thing about walking at night in New York City, um, not a lot of crowds. Summertime, it'll be different. Summertime, it'll be much different. You know, you'll have the crowds in the summertime. Now, as we get closer to Times Square, you would see, you know, it'll be more, it'll start to get more crowded. You know. Yeah. yeah. One thing in New York doesn't like, and that's a lack of shopping. You got shopping centers, stores, flagship stores. We got all that here. All the latest and greatest you'll find it in New York City. You'll tell when we start getting closer to Times Square when you see all the lights. visiting here it's best to get a subway pass because you can do uber but you'll be in traffic all day trying to uber somewhere in new york city it'll take let's add if you're doing uber just add 20 to 30 minutes to your travel time depending on where you're going and it, it doesn't matter like even in manhattan depending on what time it is you can be sitting in traffic from 30 minutes to an hour
place with the green over the motherfucking the stadium. The grass covered the face, the president is going to Stephen Colbert show. where they film that on 54th Street. I took my comedy class down there where I learned how to do stand-up. Uh, I went to the uh, Manhattan Comedy School to learn to do that. Yeah. So this is the CBS Late Show here. Yeah, give y'all a good, better view. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert here. This is where it's filmed at. I think most of the time you have to uh, go online and get tickets and you know, and then for the um, Tonight Show with uh, Jimmy Fallon, I believe that's filmed over there at uh, Rockefeller Center by Radio City Music Hall. That's like Fifth Avenue. And you see all the lights, so we're getting closer to uh, Times Square now. If you watch some a lot of my videos, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know I love Times Square. Love the energy, love all the people coming up to see it, the lights, there's so much happening. You know what I mean? I just like I just I just get inspired by it. You know. Whether it's uh whether it's the uh, folks out there in the streets dancing or they putting on uh, some kind of show. Um, there's so much to see. They just opened up a Broadway Theater Museum. We'll stop and get some Mickey D's, but uh, Stardust Lounge uh, restaurant back open where they perform is while they serving you dinner. That's back open. Yeah, and then the guys you see 
in and out in the streets uh, talking about comedy shows. Uh, those are called uh, bringers, and a lot of times they get time. You get time, stage time, depending on the number of people you bring to the particular comedy club you out here uh, shouting for. I never um, did the shouting to perform um, comedy. I didn't do that. Uh, I didn't go out and, you know, stand out here in Times Square. We're going to see a lot of them as we uh, walk down the street. You'll see a lot of the folks talking about comedy show and things like that. Bringing people, like I said, they get time on stage to... Um, perform based on the number of people they bring. Yeah, I perform comedy here. I think I got that video posted. I perform comedy here. They closed down, you know. Yeah, they closed Caroline's on Broadway, Caroline's. New York City famous comedy club. They didn't renew their lease. So, you know, pandemic hit all industries, you know. You know, um, Ruth Chris Steakhouse closed as well. I mean, it's closing like... Um, Yeah, it's gonna close at the end of April or beginning of April. That also closed. And then I think Roosevelt Hotel. Uh, the, the Roosevelt Hotel, that closed, you know, and that was a major hotel. Uh, it's rumored that the uh, Drink Manhattan or Manhattan or Martini, one of them, was created there. I'm not sure, so I don't know. I never really did research on that. totally different at night. Still a bunch of people, man. Still a bunch of people here. Only time I've ever really seen it um, where it wasn't a lot of people, that was during the pandemic when everything was locked down and uh, at the beginning of the pandemic.
everything down here. New York street performers, dancers, with some very acrobatic guys, man. <laughs> they be out here doing that rain, hail, sleet, or snow. They out here. That's dedication. following me, man. I don't know what's up with that. You know? Everybody with their phones out here. Phones out, cameras out, all of that. out here. Still got the rails up from St. Patty's Day Parade. Summertime, these stores will still be open. I got a wire, but it's like for the iPhone. You know the, how the iPhone should have smooth? You don't got that for Yeah, there go one of the guys I was telling you about it, how um, getting people to go to comedy clubs. Yeah, I'm not really big on New York street food. I had it a couple times. I wasn't impressed. Yeah. Crowded up in there trying to walk through.
sigur în spate. And ever since they um, made weed legal, um, you know, they out here smoking weed everywhere. You know, you smell it as soon as you come out here. So then you got people trying to sell it to you. Comedy show tonight, guys. You know. I do like the um, the bus tour, 42nd Street, world famous 42nd Street here. do like bus tours but like I say right now it's a little chilly summertime I like it when it's real hot doing a night tour that we man got the stores everywhere for it kind of like the liquor stores now or the you know the beer and wine stores they you know weed stores it's like on every on every corner now I think um, you know CUNY um, City College of New York does a course, they actually have a course in um, the marijuana business, how to become incorporated and have a, a legal marijuana business in the city of New York. That's, um, Like I say, that's a major business here, the marijuana business. Just came from down there. Now we're on the Avenue of Fashion um, in a garment district. This is a uh, beginning of the 20th century, late 19th century, early 20th century. This is where uh, like 
all the clothes was made, not just clothes, fabrics, um, all of them. You know, the, uh, the stores, uh, clothing stores, all the clothing outlets, clothing factories. You know, that's what was known, that's what this area was known for. Um, let me see. I think I passed it, but it's a big sewing button where, um, you know, to represent the history of the neighborhood. I think that's like around 40th Street or something like that. We passed it. I will point it out in another video. Yeah, so. This is 7th Avenue, which is known as the Avenue, um, the Avenue of Fashion. I'm going to walk down to um, Broadway and take that down. Walking around here, I'm all, always see something I, had, I didn't see before. Whether it's a building, a store. I'm always seeing something new. Yeah, now we're back on Broadway where, we, uh, where I started to walk down on 59th Street. Now we back on Broadway. Still a lot of movement, man. Always. Got them all. You know, that would be considered current architecture. Yeah. 
Shake Shack looked pretty crowded tonight. Right. But I say that because... Macy's Herald Square. So here we got Broadway, which goes straight ahead of us. And then you got Sixth Avenue that goes uh, to the right of us, which Sixth Avenue is the Avenue of Americas. down here the other day when I did the night tour of Empire State Building, which is straight down the street there on 34th, straight down. Yeah, it got pretty chilly today. I think the high was 49 or 50.
You'll find a lot of that too. Fruit stands. You'll find fruit stands, which is a good thing. Always can pick up some fresh fruit. Yeah, a lot of empty storefronts. So in this area now where we at is called Nomad, which is uh, north of Madison, Madison Avenue. That's uh, a lot of the names here in New York. Soho, south of Houston Street, Dumbo, um, down under, what is it, down under the overpass of Manhattan Bridge? Oh, down under Manhattan Bridge overpass, Dumbo. <laughs> That's what it is, D-U-M-B-O, down under Manhattan Bridge overpass. So that neighborhood in Brooklyn, that's what it stands for. And then Soho also is the area in London too. There's a neighborhood in London called Soho. In the United Kingdom. Virgin Hotel. I don't know if that's connected to the record label or not. I have no clue. Yeah, it's pretty dark down here. But you still got traffic. Still got traffic. That's another thing you gotta watch out for um, walking down the street is the uh, bike messengers on the, um, motorized bikes now that's uh, delivering food or packages. They on the sidewalks too. They, um, I, I had a collision with uh, one of the cats on a motorized bike because uh, he ran a red light and um, I was actually staring up at a building and we collided. You know, so. Walking down the street in New York City, be careful because it's not only are you um, got a lot of different, a, a lot of pedestrians walking down the street, but you also have the uh, motorized bikes too. I never knew what this was, this, the milk bar. That don't sound appeasing to me, you know? It's a bar with milk. I guess they sell ice cream and I'm assuming that kind of stuff, but I never went in there. I'm not too adventurous when it comes to food, um, steaks not really big on seafood. I eat it once in a while, but I like steaks. I like uh, Italian food, um, mainly uh, food cultures where meat is the center of it, you know. I like to eat meat, so.
You said it's new, right? Yeah, I try to be interactive with people, but I ain't that friendly, man. <laughs> Some days I can be friendly, but I'm not that friendly. Um, far as just uh, people walking up on me, I, I, I don't, don't come walking up on me. Uh, yeah. In the daytime, I'm a little bit more open to it. But at night, I don't care who you are, children, adults, women. That's the 4040 Club, Jay-Z's restaurant bar. Yeah, 4040 Club, I've never been there either. So, have to check it out one day. I always say that I'm going to come to these places I go, but I end up doing something else. So now we are down in um, Flatiron District, which takes its name from the building um, that was shaped like a flat iron. Which is directly in front of us. the many dog parks here in New York City. 
It's a dog park within a park. <laughs> So now we're down at uh, 23rd Street and Broadway. We started walking around um, 59th and 8th Avenue, Columbus Circle, Central Park area. Yeah. So that's the Flatiron Building there. Like I said, I get stressed out, man, and I just walk. Just walk all the stress out. You know what I mean? Just appreciate and be grateful for uh, the opportunity I have to, you know, live in one of the most iconic cities in the world. And understand, all I have to do is just live through this day. That is it. You know, walking helps me to appreciate that. There is the Empire State Building there. Yeah. So that's Madison Avenue down there. Like I say, this is the Flatiron District. And for anybody who don't know, the dividing line for New York City East-West is Fifth Avenue. That's the dividing line. Divides from the east side of Manhattan to the west side of Manhattan. You know, and every city has, has a dividing line from east to west. Um, I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, and the dividing line for east to west was Woodward Avenue. You know? That divided east side, west side. And I'm I lived on both sides. I lived on the east side of Detroit and the west side of Detroit. You'll see a lot of scaffolding in the city too. It's always something under construction. <laughs> Construction is a big business. Yeah, these are um, like this flat iron building and a lot of buildings that were created, that was construction constructed and built during the uh, Gilded Age is, you know, that Art Deco style. You know, a lot of the buildings we've seen, we've seen um, the Gothic style, Corinth, the Art Deco. You know, a lot of these uh, buildings were being built during the, like I say, the Gilded Age. Um, America was booming before the stock market crash. Um, before that, uh, you know, uh, large corporations such as uh, Chrysler General Motors. Carnegie, the Rockefellers, the Rockefellers who built the Rockefeller Center. You got Carnegie Hall, who was built by uh, the Steel Baron. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, the Chrysler Brothers did the Chrysler Building. General Motors did the Empire State Building. That, that, that is what was popping during the Gilded Age, man. All the mansions up and down Fifth Avenue. 
a lot of those um, museums were actually somebody's home at one time. And the east side of uh, New York and upper, upper Manhattan is known as the old money. And the west side, I believe, is new money. That's what I was told. And uh, a lot of the museums in the Museum Mile, which is from like uh, 80th, 80th Street to like 110th Street on Fifth Avenue, that's Museum Mile. Where you got the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Guggenheim, the Jewish Historic Museum, the Hewitt uh, Museum, the City Museum of New York. Uh, and I showed you in the trailer. Yeah. So now we're coming up on Union Square. 14th Street in Union Square. Movie theater, AMC Union Square. Then they got an AMC on 42nd Street. That's the one I go to a lot. I like that theater to see movies. I'll be going there to see uh, John Wick 4. This is the first, uh, I didn't walk, um, I'm down to 10% battery. It should be able to last me till I get to 14th Street. Like right now we're on 18th. Yeah, it should last. Yeah, as you see, it's not as, crowded as in the uh, Times Square area was but the further we go down to uh, lower Manhattan the crowds will start to pick up again especially when we start to get around the uh, McDougal Street where you have like uh, several different comedy clubs you got the Blue Note Jazz Club you know so uh, in that area you start to see a lot of crowds too and then also, that's New York University. Um, New York University is in that area. Uh, Cooper Union, that's another university that's in that area. So you have a lot of college students down in that area hanging out. So yeah, now we're down here at Union Square. Always writing stuff down here. You know? They always writing, writing, writing different things, man. So, right now it seems like they just got racist spot. <laughs> you know? So I guess it's a little game you play and not get, uh, get into the racist spot. Uh, Union Square Park right here. See if we can get a good look. Yeah. Mm. 
a square park. And you would notice it's always like some type of rally or something in the summertime. It's always something going on down here. I guess the park is closed now, so. So yeah, we didn't made it down here to 14th Street and Union Square. Um, thank y'all for walking with me. Um, nice little walk. But this is it. 14th Street and Union Square. It was a pretty good walk because there wasn't a lot of people out. It's a different walk during the day because the crowds are pretty strong. So crowds be deep out here during the day. All right, so that's it, man. I appreciate y'all walking with me, man. Y'all have a great, great evening.